PC2 be here better known as P31 Diva coming to you with the Sister Locks Lock. Today's video was inspired by Solange Williams in Toronto, Canada. Hi Solange, thanks for the idea for this video. If you don't know, I'm doing a giveaway on my channel, so go check that video out. Go check that video out. And in that video, one of the criteria is to give me a video topic that you would like to see me to discuss. And so I'm choosing to do Solange's first. Her question was what questions should she be asking at her consultation for Sister Lock? So I'm going to do my best to answer that by sharing with you my experience. A little bit of background and some other resources I'm going to share quickly are I did on my blog my decision making chart that's on my blog of what I was looking for in a consultant. I also did the video version of that called my thoughts on choosing a Sister Locks consultant. But today is going to actually be the questions that you should ask at your consultation. Disclaimer, I've only been to one Sister Locks consultation because I initially, for the first almost two years, traveled at a far distance to have my Sister Locks established and maintained. I didn't want to invest a lot of time and energy into going to several different consultants and just dropping $40, $50 here and there. So I did a lot of research on the front end before I even engaged any consultants. So I've only been to one consultation. This is what was what was given to me presented to me and then also things that i asked so i don't know what the standard is i'm just going to share with you my experience but these are things that i think that if they're not presented to you that you should definitely ask first and foremost you should see the sister locks hook tool you may not be able to touch it but you should be able to see the sister locks hook tool okay so that's that's very important to make sure that you are dealing with someone who is actually sister locks consultant there are some people, unfortunately, who say that they are sister locks certified or can do sister locks, but they do it with maybe some other tools. So it's important that you see the tool. Um, I was also presented with a mannequin doll head, a cosmetology mannequin doll head that had some interlocks put in just so to make sure that I was familiar with the concept of interlocks. And I already was, but it was nice to have that presented to me. You should be shown, and if not, you should ask to see the official sizing chart. There's a, it has what small, medium, and large sister lock parts should be, and it has the measurement for it. It also shows if it's too big, it has a, a square that's larger, and it shows that that's out of the standard. So it's a standard parting guide size. So you should be, able, you should be presented with that, but if not, you should ask to see that. I was, at, I asked and was given um, a hands-on demo of braiding and banding. So that's important. It was important to me because for me, shampooing my hair at the beginning was, I felt a lot of uh, trepidation about it. So making sure that you feel comfortable with that process and by having a hands-on demo of braiding and banding, again with the mannequin doll head, went a long way to help me in my confidence. You should be asked your hair history, and if not, you should share that. Um, you know, do you color your hair often? Um, do, you have, do you have any heat damage, things like that? Some things that maybe will help your consultant know a little bit more about your hair. You should also be given your firm establishment cost. The consultation is not, in my opinion, it's not complete until you know exactly how much it will cost to establish sister locks for your hair. Because it's based off of your hair density, it's based off of um, your texture, your type, how many, um, if you have maybe some challenges in your hair, say for instance alopecia, um, things like that, all that plays a factor into your establishment cost. And then also you should be given test locks with instructions for those test locks. So here's my actual list of questions that I went in on the little chart with them. Love myself a good spreadsheet, love myself a good chart. I asked about my hair characteristics or hair type, and I asked about the front, back, and both sides. Because your hair is not, well my hair is not the same all over my head, and I wanted to know what did my consultant see in looking at my hair. Also the density on the front back sides of my hair. Again, this is going to play into the cost of your hair. So I have average density hair, my, meaning my hair is not particularly thick or particularly thin. Um, my consultant actually parted off, I think a one by one square and counted the strands in that box to determine my density. Also asked about what recommendations for patterns. Some of this I already knew, quote unquote, from my you know research and looking on YouTube and blogs and things like that. But I wanted to know would she recommend a three pattern, a four, a reverse four, things like that. I knew that I wanted a three, but I also wanted to know what will be best for my hair type, texture, density, curl pattern, uh, curl length is the term that you'll hear. Curl length and cur curl width or and uh, length are terms you'll hear in sister locks. So I wanted to know. 
I, I felt that three would be fine for me, but I wanted to know her opinion, and it was. Now, I do have three all over my hair, with the exception of my perimeter. Then I, there I have a four. So, excuse me, a reverse four. So my perimeter locks are more thin. I would say a reverse four is like a chokehold. So it keeps the slippage as best as possible at bay. Whereas the three is going to show a little bit more of one's natural curl pattern. Um, not mimicking their loose hair, but allowing that to come through just a little bit more. That being said, uh, bunching is a bit more of an issue for me because I have a, a, a not as tight or restrictive locking pattern. So my my locks will probably never be fully cylindrical and you know just that perfect kind of top to bottom shape and I'm fine with that. I also asked my lock count estimation. Um, the only thing that I was given is that it will be a 400 and a little caveat about that and again not a sister locks consultant trainee have never taken the course but at one point the sister lock standard was about 300 locks and then over the years it has increased at the time when my establishment was done, the sister lock standard was 400, meaning that if a person had a full head of hair, no, you know, maybe no bald spots or anything like that, then one would expect to have 400 or more locks on their head. Now, I have a particularly, I don't have a small head, but the part of my head that is covered by hair is a smaller section. I have a pretty big face, but not a whole lot of hair. And let me see if I can help you make sense of this. So this part, I, this surface area that's covered in hair is not as big as other people. So that being said, I have a little bit over 430 locks. I started with about 436 locks and I have about 430 now. I've had in the past a few retightenings, a few combined. So that's where I stand as far as, um, but I just wanted to know what would my lock count estimation be. And also again, if you're vetting somebody out, these are things that they should know and that this can be just kind of a check and balance for you. I wanted to know about exercise and slippage. I wouldn't consider this something standard that they may share, but I, you know, reading and watching a lot of videos and blogs, I had a, and knowing my hair, I knew that slippage was going to be an issue for me. And so I wanted to know about exercise and slippage. I wanted to know about how many establishments have they had they done and they may not have an exact number but I wanted to know you know are we in like the 20 ballpark 100 you know 50 to just get an idea of where they are as far as their expertise also ask a, a good question to ask is when was the last time they had a refresher course Ask the consultant if she or he, there are male Sister Locks consultants, is R certified. An R certified consultant has been approved by the Sister Locks Home Office to teach you how to retighten your own hair, which is not the same as taking the four-day Sister Locks training course. This is especially important if you are planning to maintain your own hair. There are regional retightening classes offered, and they have typically been conducted in parallel with the four-day training courses. If you're at a distance, it may save you time and money if your consultant is able to teach you herself or himself. In addition to not having to wait for a four-day course to be hosted near you, you would have the added benefit of your own consultant teaching you since they have history and familiarity with your hair. A third benefit is you will most likely get a one-on-one -on -one lesson versus being in a group. Side note, you still have to pay for the training. It's not free. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. Um, I wanted to know the length of my hair and that's something that they should give you because the length of your hair is one of the factors to determine your pricing. So ask for the length of your hair and it should have been a, a guess. My consultant measured several portions of my hair again, front, back, side, and took an average. And so on average, I had seven inches of hair. So I also asked about the establishment tool, which again should be the sister locks hook, but I wanted to know uh, what would they use to maintain the sister locks methodology program system is the word I'm looking for has the tool has the hook and then if you were to say take the retiring class as somebody who's a sister locks wearer but not a practitioner of in any sort you would be given the clip tool and I wanted to make sure that my retightenings would be done with the hook tool so that was a question that I had what tool do you use to do your retightenings and I prefer the hook I've never had the clip tool used on my hair. Also ask at your consultation if you choose to move forward what is going to be your establishment date and what will be the logistics for that. 
most people either break it up uh, depending upon again you know how many locks now if you got really dense hair really long hair and you have not trying to be funny not that your head is big but that the portion of your head that is covered by hair is a lot then you know you're going to be in for a long haul I had a tag team consult, uh, tag team establishment, so two people established my hair, but it was about 20 woman hours, but it was physically 12 and a half hours, actually 12 hours, 25 minutes. Who's counting? Me, I was counting. I said, you know, have a plan. If you're traveling, are you gonna be spending the night in a hotel? Are they gonna start in the morning, stop at a certain point? Will you travel back and forth? But just have it in mind and speak with them openly. What are going to be the logistics for establishing my hair? And also find out their hours. Um, I went to a salon, so find out what are their hours because you're also looking at maintenance and wanting to make sure that this is a good fit for your schedule. So I hope I've said something that's useful to you, Solange. If I missed something and any of you have some questions or something you wish you had asked at your consultation that you didn't and now realizing hindsight is 2020, you'd have loved to ask, please leave it in the comment section below. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Thank you to all the, uh, those of you who shared this journey with me and interact it again i love comments are my favorite portion of making youtube videos because i love the interaction i'm an only child so maybe i just like to talk to people i don't know but you guys just thank you for supporting me on this uh, making videos has been something i do just kind of as a hobby as a way to document my journey but i really appreciate you guys going on this ride with me i uh, thank you to all the new subscribers thank you to all those who've been subscribed for a long time and if you haven't done so already hop on over to that other giveaway video and get a chance to win some lock loops this is how i achieved today's curls which are put them in friday today is tuesday so saturday sunday monday so four day old curls all right, you guys have a day and or night as beautiful as you are. Take care. Bye.